American chicken experience. <laughs> this is Colonel Sanders. So, <laughs> I, I think next time I'm cooking dinner, I'll prepare it early, like Sushi. around noon time, there and then go. just reheat it so we don't have the smell in the house of yeah, roasted garlic chicken. Pot pie. Uh, because that's all I can smell right now, and the last two reviews are probably not the best. I don't know, it's not bothering me for a reason. I don't yeah, I, I don't know, lucky you. So, hey, but anyways, we're here. We're going to give this a shot. American chicken experience. American chicken experience. <laughs> Just kidding. American whiskey experience, Pete and James. How's it going? Um, so, yeah, we're going to give this a shot. Let's uh, do it. And uh, we're going to to drink something from Penelope, which... Yeah. I love everything that they they do. Yeah, um, you know, do. Absolutely, nice and nice group of people. Yeah. Uh, ownership uh, local to the area, only a couple yeah. hours away in New yeah. Jersey. Yep. Yeah. Um, this is a store pick from Greens Farms. I'll let you yeah. so talk. This is uh, Penelope Heavy Toast Cat Strength. Yeah. Level three char. Yeah. And you, know, you said a Greens Farms pick out yeah. of uh, Norwalk and Wallingford. Uh, oh, Westport. Westport. Westport Wallingford. Yeah. Um, so again. Uh, this is a MGP product, MGP juice. Uh, it is 115 proof, five year age statement. Uh, no match bill disclosed on this one. And the price on this was about 65 bucks. Yeah, great price. Cause I yeah. mean, you could see, Penelope, I mean, and, and their prices are worth it. You could see it anywhere from that 65 all the way up to a hundred bucks. Yeah, I mean, we saw some um, of those toasters. Yeah, they, they, they go up in price, those toasters. Yeah. yeah, and honestly, this this is a great price point. Um, yeah. You know, even on the $10, you know, it's not a bad thing. We have a lot of toasters that are, you know, a little yeah. higher than that in price yeah. that are excellent. Yeah. But how long so, has it been open? You, you didn't date it. Yeah, I dated it. You didn't, it's a bullshit. Oh, shit, dude. There's no date on it. I thought I did. What? Uh, a few weeks, three weeks? No, I don't even know. I didn't date this. Okay. Well, this was back in 2022, so I only date things 2023. Oh, sorry. It's a new, new leaf. Sorry. <laughs> a new leaf. Turn 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 leaf, yep. Uh, but uh, it's age five years, batch 2163, 57.5 proof, uh, 115, uh, I'm sorry, 57.5 alcohol by volume, 115 proof, uh, straight bourbon whiskey, toasted barrel strength. And level three char. And this is their toasted series. Level three. Yeah, there's a lot of levels. And I always thought in the beginning, when toasted started getting really popular about a year or two ago in our area at least, yeah, yeah. Uh, I always thought there was only about three or four toasted. Uh, but now, yeah, like char levels. Char levels yeah. I mean, yeah. And now there's even, there's like 10 or more, yeah. I think. And it's, uh, you know. It's pretty interesting what that, yeah. what that char does right. to the whiskey. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's by seconds, though, too, how quick the flame is on there. So char one is like one second or two. So, we don't, you know, it goes like that. Whatever it is, so yeah. It was, it was pretty it was neat. Interesting. We, had, we had two of the identical, uh, two Penelope Toasters. Yes. Identical mash bill. Yep. Two different char levels. Yep. One stored outside, one stored inside. Yeah. And the flavors on them were so different. Yeah. Was they were awesome. They were both great. And they both were both, both very different. But the outside barrel, I thought, yeah. was the better of the two. They were um, both very good. Yep. Oh, spinning. Look at that. Magic. Look at that. That's a spinner. Um, that's going to uh, increase the proof. What what does it takes? The, so it's, it's char three. You said. Yeah, it makes it four. Well, no, no, it it it, it breaks down each char, oh, so, so, it's, so it's leveled now. So, so oh, see like, right here in the bottom, it's oh, one. I got that's you. two, and then the top is three. So this is three char. So yeah. now you can see. You're like a mad chemist. Yeah. I gotta say, we don't really talk much about color, but the color yeah. is pretty nice. It's nice. I, I love this color. Oh, I would, I, this is this is a nice dark mahogany color. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's like some kind of like scale number, like it's a five R or whatever it is. Uh, but I don't know what it is. But it's it's a great color. Right. And it's a great spinning glass. Ooh. You haven't used these glasses in a while. No, we haven't done spinning in a while. Oh, yeah. well, well, well. I feel like I'm gonna break the damn thing. You know they're thin. They uh, are. That's my the my concern wall. about them. Yeah. But they. Uh, it won't, you know, you could just, look at that. Oh, and, magic. You, and you can spin it, and it will spin, and will not go. So, pretty cool. I don't really have the room to do that, but, nope, you know. Crazy, crazy. But here you go, so. You beak working now? <sighs> no, it, it, I am picking up some some flavors on it, and I do have my notes, So, you, you've well. had this a couple times already? Yeah, I, I have. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see if my notes equal what my nose is now. I definitely get that char. Yeah. Um, on the nose? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I get like almost like a dark fruit with with with, with the oak char. Mm-hmm. 
I, mean, I can't pinpoint what, what fruit it is, but it's a darker, you know. I tasted it already. Oops. You always cheat. Why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to cut down the time on the video so that well, about 15 is. minutes. Uh, I'll tell you, a, a really rich, mm -hmm. rich nose. A so, lot more, very rich nose. You know, I agree 100%. I get a, yeah. I get a vanilla bean ice cream. Oh, okay. uh, you know, like the, the the true vanilla bean ice cream. Yeah, I could see like you um, know, I get that. I could see earthiness from coffee, like that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that. Or vanilla bean, I could yep. see that as well. Like I, that. I get butterscotch. I get um like like liquid butterscotch, like like a, a topping like you, you put, put on ice cream. Yeah, like a hot okay. topping you put on ice cream. Um, I get that sweetness. For um, me, it's more like I'm a dark honest. fruit. It's almost like a like a prune or or a fig or. Yeah, a, a fig is and then like, very and then good. That, and then that barrel char is, is mm -hmm. to me, I, I guess. So I'm going to taste it because you've mm. tasted it about 47 times already. I didn't taste it yet. Okay. You imagine that. Mm, that's delicious. So I, I'm now, the char that you were getting on the nose, I understand it, but I was getting it more on the palate. Ooh, wow. I get chocolate. I get flavor. Peanut brittle. It's funny you say that. Chocolate, yeah. Coffee, like rich, yeah. Dark coffee, oak char. Mm -hmm. Um, but the sweet is like that. Remember the um, not nutter butters, but they were like a peanut butter wafer cake cracker kind of thing. Not cracker, but they were almost like a cake, like a cup. Right, the wafer. But like really light. Yeah, With peanut wafer. butter. Like yep. it's not. Not super sweet. I don't know. Like, oh, I, wow. I forget. They're still around. I forget what they're called, but I, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't remember who makes them, but. But uh, yeah, so again, the, the, the char, the chocolate, uh, the coffee, um, Damn. the French vanilla, the, vanilla bean. The, the fruit it sticks the around, too. The fruit and the richness I got in the nose, I don't get fruity in the palate. No. I get a lot of those. Vanilla bean is good. Yeah. Coffee, rich. Um, chocolates, um, that charge really brings a lot of flavor to the palate to me. Um, super rich, deep. Yeah, my notes haven't really changed. Um, you cracked it? Yeah, exactly. Maybe like, um, I think everything's a little bit more advanced now, honestly, a little stronger, a little more power to it. You know, first crack, second pour. Now it's been open for, it's been open um, for a good month maybe so i think uh they could open up really the, good the back end yep um that in, those intense flavors lighten up a little bit mm -hmm. a little bit of spice a little bit of dry oak um but the palate lingers around for a really long time for me it hangs in my taste buds for uh, for a while a little dry oak i get a little cedar at the back end too um, cedar yeah i can see an old oak um seasoned oak um okay but not like um <laughs> Not crazy spice. Um, no, not crazy spice. I think it's well balanced. Um, I think it's one of the better toasts that we've had, and we had some really good ones. I'm not going to put it in the top three yet because I would like to I taste them where, all. I don't know where I'd rank uh, it, but, but I, I think it's but, really good. But I think the palate's outstanding. Yeah, I think that, uh, the flavors in this is uh, are really really good. And, we're, we're, and we've had other toasts where it's like boom, you know, it's a, a butterscotch, or you know, it's oh, yeah. this, or you know, this one's kind of a little bit of everything. It's funny now. Now. Um, I'm not sure, but these are these are new labels. So the the, the label on these are like, are all now gray. Yeah, I think they have it. I think th and they might have changed from last year to this year because they were all black before. I, yeah, I think it could so be. So the the barrel strength toasts were, were black in the past, and, yeah. and we uh, I think one night lined up four of them. We have and I think good amount. We had no, we had four of them. I think Mike was here one night, and yeah. I think we had four of them on the on the bar. That's right. And they were all so different. Yeah. Very very different. Different char levels. Uh, different ages. They all had. They uh, all had something a little bit different from each of them. That's they were. that stuck out a little but bit. But some of them I were even like a, a, a big change. Yeah, some of them were a big change. You know. Um. I think this is really good. I I do like that it's a, it's balanced. I do like that it's got a nice finish at the end. It sticks around a little bit. It's not heavy, weight wise. It's medium. And I like that on this one. Yep. Sometimes I like a heavy on certain ones. Uh, this this I like because it's a medium and, and, weight and, uh, on it. And I don't think um, it drinks at 115. Um, no. I think it's probably like you know, 100, 105 tops. Yeah. This, this could be, 
If you're pouring guess. three ounces or you know more, and you're pouring us three times with some friends, you're gonna realize that it was one fifteen. Right, no, I get it. But it drinks for the first pour. Yeah, about a hundred, hundred and eight, somewhere super around good there. Flavor, though, I'll tell you, um, the flavor for me is by far is the uh, the strongest attribute. Yeah, that brings the table. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm usually not disappointed by anything Green Spark puts out too. Uh, like no, or I, anything from Penelope for that matter. Or anything from Penelope for that matter too. Yeah. That matter too. Um, so I do like their picks. I think this is, is this is a great one. Um, I don't know if they have any available still or not. They may. Worth checking out. It's worth pick, checking out, yeah. There's other picks in the store, so yeah. I, mean, what are the I know it's not. I, I didn't see it listed on their website recently, but it doesn't mean that they don't have it in stock uh, either in Wallingford or Westport. Um, I, I, well, the good part is I have one I didn't own yet. You do? I do. Yep. Well, you better open that now. I'm going to have to. Um, it's I, on the bar, Jared, over near. Yeah, I, I think the palate, for me, is the best part of this. Uh, I, I like the nose a lot, but the palate has, has a lot of different flavors to it, different levels. Um, I, I like it. No, I agree. All right, it's a winner. Uh, yeah. I mean, we can keep sixty about And at 65, I mean, uh, for these toasts, I mean, like I said, we saw them climb up to 100. That's the better of the pricing. That's the I mean, I didn't buy it for 100, tier. but I remember seeing mm -hmm. some of the toasts right. go up yeah. that high. I was like, are you kidding we, me? We had a bottle that was given to us. That was 100. That was 100. Yeah. And it was delicious. It was very good. It, it might have. It might have been the, that night we had the four. It, it might have been one of those. It might have been the best one of the it, four. I think it was. But it, I would pay. But I want to pay a hundred dollars for it. Yeah. Um, and but that bottle is still available. It's still sitting. In the store. It's still sitting in the store. They're collecting. Price. They're collecting. It is. Store. And I, I mentioned it to them as well. Um, but you know, to each his own. If you can get it, great. I'm gonna have to stop it and mention it again too. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Definitely a win. Greens Farm Spirits, Westport, Wallingford. Yeah. Check them out. Yeah. Uh, Follow us, Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook, YouTube. Uh, we appreciate the support. Check out Penelope online as well. Again, they're local to the New Jersey area, so support local. Absolutely. Uh, areas, you don't have to, you know, go to Tennessee or Kentucky or, right. you know, to get Indiana to get your whiskey. Uh, nope, you, get it here. Get it here. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Mm. I like that. I like that a lot. Very good. Yep. Very good. Nice. Now I got to open it. Better open it. Oh. American Whiskey Experience. Take care. Go to you, though.